Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Dow Academy Online Learning. We look forward to seeing you all back in class. But for now, stay home, stay safe. And remember to always wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. Let's begin. Hello from two agriculture students. I welcome you all to our agriculture online lessons. Today we are going to look at soil. That is our topic. Before we talk about soil, I want to remind you that we had at the beginning talked about what agriculture is all about, in which you said agriculture involves production of crops and animals. Now, when farmers grow their crops, they plant these crops in the soil, or they grow the crops in the soil. Even when they, they, they rear the animals, those animals need to feed. The vegetation on which the animals, our mm. cattle goats, mm. feed on, those vegetations grow in the soil. Sometimes farmers may make their own food to feed their livestock, like the dairy meal, chicken feed, and so forth. Dairy, the layer smash, the broiler, the broiler growers, all those are feed which are manufactured. They are made from crops which were originally grown by farmers and they planted or grow, uh, grew those crops in the soil, which means the soil is very important component in farming. You can see all these crops, for example, we have some crops here in this garden. These are green peppers with the fruits there, some tomatoes there, and some other crops there. I think you can see a small watermelon under there. So all these are crops actually grown in the soil. So soil is very important. Now let's talk about what soil is all about. What is soil? You, as form tools, you are already grown up. You have gone ahead in terms of education compared to the form one. Standard seven, six, five, four, going downwards. Which means you are able to explain this term so far to your friends or the young ones. If your cousin, brother, or sister asks you a question, what is soil? What would you say? 15, uh, not 15, 10 seconds to answer. Right, 10, minute, 10 seconds is over. Now, whatever answer you have given, you have tried. Thank you very much for that. Let's look at it. At an elementary level, like uh, standard five there, five di going downwards, would say soil is a medium in which plants grow, but that is a definition at that level. Now, at your level, you need to add some fresh. Soil can be defined as a thin layer of material made up of different particles in which plants grow. And this material is made up of weathered rock particles, organic matter, water, and air. So this material covers the upper part of the earth's crust. Actually, we can say soil is the upper layer of the earth in which plants grow. Now, we, in our definition, we say it consists of different particles. These are the particles such as organic matter, inorganic matter, water, and even air is found in the soil. Now, let's talk about the inorganic. Inorganic matter is also called the rock particle, the weathered rock particles. There are different types of particles that come from rock. When the rocks break down, they form smaller particles. But those particles also come in different sizes, meaning that they occur in different proportion. With me here, I've got some different samples of particles that came from the breaking down of rocks. Are you, are you seeing this? These particles are quite big. These are slightly big. 
and these are very tiny particles, smaller particles. They are quite small. These are quite, you can see, it's almost like powder. Quite smaller than this. And these are quite smaller than these particles. So these are gravel particles. This is sand. These are sand particles. And these are particles which, are, uh, which, which consist of very fine sand particles, clay, and a silt. So all together these uh, make up what we call the mineral particles. The other term we use is inorganic particles or rock particles. That's one thing. So in short, these mineral, particle, uh, mineral matter or the rock particles actually make up the majority part of, of soil. A larger component of soil uh, particles actually is made up of mineral matter. They come from the rocks, the breaking down of rocks. Then we also talked about organic matter. Organic matter is divided into two parts. We have living organic matter, which is which consists of uh, living things such as bacteria, fungi, and earthworms. Actually, in this garden here, I've got some friends, the earthworms. They help me to air it or allow air to circulate in the soil here. Unfortunately, they are not here. If you can see here, you can see some of the living matter and they are moving about. Those are termites. They were hiding in the soil. Yeah. So we have the living organic matter, or not living organic, but living things that are found in the soil. That is part of um, organic matter, but that is living. Then we also have dead organic matter. Normally the organic matter, when plants and animals die, they decompose and they form a substance which we call humus. With me here, you, uh, you can see there's a bit of humus here in this, in this soil. This is humus. You can see it's quite dark. That is humus. It is formed from dead plants and animals. When they, de when they die, when those plants and animals die, they decompose or they rot down and then form this dark brown substance we call humus. And it becomes part of the soil. That's organic matter. We'll talk about the importance of all these later and a different topic, the importance of living things or the constituents of soil. Now, the other component of soil is water. Soil is made up of water as well. Although the amount of water may be different, depending on the type of soil and depending on the area. When you are near the river there, the soil may be wet most of the time because there's a lot of water from the river. When you're in a desert, the sand soil normally appears very dry, meaning there's little or no water. Although it appears no water, the particles around, even the soil deep down there may contain a bit of moisture around the particles. So there's water in the soil. And in a garden or field like this, these plants are surviving because there's water which the plants use for them to grow. Then we also have air. Air is important in the soil as well and is part of the soil. This air comes from the atmosphere. It gets into the soil, circulates around the roots and the plant roots absorb it, particularly the oxygen, then use it for the process of respiration to produce energy. That energy enables the plant to absorb the water, mineral salt from the soil. So that is air. These are the component or the different materials 
found in the soil, which make up soil. Right. We have talked about what soil is about, but we need now to understand where soil came from. Soil actually is formed, especially the mineral matter part of the soil, is formed from the breaking down of rocks. And we are going to look at the different types of rocks from which soil is formed. We are going to take a break. When we come back, we'll continue with the subtopic of rocks, the different types of rocks and how they were formed. We explain it briefly so that you understand where this material called soil came from. Thank you, but don't go very far. We are coming to the next part of our topic soon. Thank you.